Today we are transplanting peppers and tomatoes from the Haas 162 cell tray to four inch pots and solo cups. Check it out. Well, as you can see, I've got a bunch of tomatoes already potted up. These are not pink tomatoes. <laughs> They're under the, under the pink grow lights. And I, I really waited too long uh, on some of these tomatoes. The reason I had to do solo cups and not just four-inch pots were they just got so darn tall. These, these things are 12 inches or, or taller than that, 12, 14, 15 inches tall. And I, w I would have transplanted them sooner, but uh, we had the ice storm and I could not bring them out here to the barn to transplant them because it was so cold. And I thought for sure I would lose them and probably would have. I'm pretty sure I would have. All these tomato seeds came from Haas Tools. Uh, they've got a, a huge variety of seeds. I absolutely um, recommend that you go there if you have not started your seeds yet and they ship very quickly they've got a great uh, variety and assortment but right now we are uh, potting up right now i'm potting up peppers those are peppers in a um, solo cups so let's go over here and see what i'm doing on the potting bench well first of all i know i'm going to be asked so this potting mix is called bm7 from burger i just get it at my local um it's a it's a wholesale, but it's a sell to the public too. Uh, nursery, and pretty close to me, and they have the BM7. And I re they had something called B3 uh, before that, and then they changed companies, and now it's BM7. So I've got these four inch cups, and I've used these time and time before. Uh, I've got these abbreviated with MMR. That is uh, Mamma Mia Rosso from Haas Tools. It's a sweet Italian style pepper and uh, painted under with paint pen. Paint pen will stay a long, long time. You don't want to use a just a Sharpie unless it's just short term because Moxalots and Sharpies don't last very long. But MMR is a Mamma Mia Rosso. I have found the best way to get these out of this uh, tray is with a pencil on the back side. And the the uh, bottom side just come up here and poke and poke so let's get these out again the mama mia rosso these are a little smaller the stems aren't quite as developed so i don't want to just tug on them i want to use that pencil to get them out so that's the mama mia rosso uh, in these 162 or any of the Haas trays, they've got grooves uh, down in here, grooves on the side of this that that keep the, that help keep the uh, the roots on your plants from from circling and uh, getting root bound. They go pretty much straight down. Uh, the roots do to following those grooves, and I think it makes a better root system. These are pretty wet because I have. Um, because I've had them in a drip tray. So let's take these over there and start potting them up in the four inch pots. So to start off with, I don't want that root sitting right on, right on the bottom, right on the bottom of that because it could dry out or, or get too wet. <clears throat> I want it to sit up high to where the top, uh, where it's planted where it came up, where it germinated, the top there is, uh, you know, pretty much level with the top of this. So I'll pretty good get a, make a pretty good bed of potting mix for it to sit on, sit in, sit on top of. And I set it in there and I gently hold the top, very gently, you don't want to break those stems. If you break a stem, you're done. And by that, I'm the plant's done. So don't if you break a stem, don't try to coddle it. Don't. It's done pretty much. Sometimes a tomato, if you plant it deeper than that, get that stem down below the soil line. Sometimes you can salvage a tomato, but 
Eh, I don't think there's much salvage in a pepper that you break off. And that's one reason, you know, sometimes I plant two seeds and not just one. But I have got plenty here. I'll be giving a lot of these away. And uh, I've got people that want them. So that's a good good plant right there. Let me do another one. Again, a little bit of, little bit of mix in there. And I'll say a little bit, about half. And then this one. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna thin those probably right now or pretty quick. I'll pick the best one, the one that looks the best to me. And, um, and, and nip it off with a pair of scissors. If you pull on it, you could damage the roots because all these roots from these two seedlings, the roots are all intertwined. And so if you pull on one to try to pull it out of there, you could certainly damage the roots on the other one. And we, it's all about the roots. We don't want to damage the roots. So, so on peppers, you want to transplant about the same depth as they were in the um, in the uh, original thing. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna pull that, but I am gonna pinch it off. So we've only got one in there right now, and it'll be much happier without a without a little brother. Make sure that you'll make sure the new soil, the new potting mix, has good contact with the old root ball. You don't want to be a big air gap, something like that, for that root ball to die out. You don't want to pack it down to where you're going to hurt something, but you know, gently make sure it's packed down good. And then, of course, you'll water that in just as soon as you, as soon as you can. Even though on these particular ones, that root ball is really very moist, uh, soggy, wet, in fact. Uh, you still want to uh, go in there and water it in, and uh, to give it uh, to give it a good good start. It's going to need some water. You you put all this dry mix in there, and it's going to suck the water out of that uh, that root ball. That's even if your root ball is real wet, that dry mix will just like like a sponge and suck that water out. So you need to water those pretty quick once you get them transplanted. One more, and this one doesn't have as big a root system because when I pulled it out some of it broke off but I think it's going to be viable That one off with fingernail. Now well, I did pull a little root. Didn't mean to do that. It's not necessarily in the middle of the cup, but I get you. I bet you that'll work. And they'll stand up a little straighter once they have a little more room and the foliage is less dense under these grow lights. I had I had all this under one grow light. And I've got three grow lights now. So so that's it. We got those three done. I'll do two more. I think I'll do six of the Mamma Mia Rosso. Six of each one. I've got some heatless habanero, which is something I'm really looking forward to because I can't eat a habanero. They're just too hot. So the heatless habanero, that just that's right up my alley. I've also got a, a something that told, somebody told me about a couple of years ago called a fooled you jalapeno. And it's a jalapeno pepper. My understanding is it's a jalapeno pepper that has all the characteristics, all the tastes of a good jalapeno pepper without the heat. Maybe just a little. I don't, I'm really not sure, but I think it's without any heat. So uh, looking forward to that. I didn't get those at Hoss. They don't sell those. I got those off Amazon. So I'll put a link below to Amazon if, uh, if you're interested in that. Fooled you jalapenos. Rest of these are at the Hoss website. Heatless habanero. I've got a King Arthur bell pepper that I'm going to... Uh, I'll do six of those. I've got a Mamma Mia Rosso. I'll do six of those, so, so two more of those. Got four here. 
and then uh, I've got the six uh, uh, fooled you jalapenos. So that's going to be plenty for me. We'll pr I'll probably plant maybe two of each kind, maybe four, some of the ones we really like, plant four. Uh, and then same with the tomatoes, probably probably four to six of the red snapper, uh, two of the uh, cherry tomato, that mountain vineyard. Uh, now I've got plenty, I've got a whole lot more than that over there right now potted up, but I'll give the rest of those away to my daughter, my brother, my neighbor, whatever. And uh, so anyway, we're transplanting, uh, especially peppers. The, the tomatoes were big enough, it, if the, <laughs> If it was warm enough outside, and it's a beautiful 68 degree day right now, but it's going to start getting into the 30s at night, going to be some frost, and it would kill the tomatoes. It would kill all this. But the tomatoes were big enough, they could have gone straight in the ground out of that 162 tray. If I'd have timed it better, or if I'd have grown them slower, I don't know, but they took off like crazy. I only fertilized them one time, and they just went, just ate doo doo. And uh, so, I had to do something. I had to put them in something. So anyway, solo cups are good. Always, always, always punch a hole in the bottom. So I drilled, I drilled two holes in the bottom of each of the solo cups. And of course these already have holes in them. So we're transplanting seedlings from the 162 uh, celled Haas tray into larger containers. Again, uh, almost always need to step up your peppers. Uh, it would be tough on that little pepper right there, three or four inches tall. It'd be tough on that little old pepper if you just threw it in the ground, even if it was the right season. Might make it, might not, but it'd be pretty tough on it. You want it to develop a, a good root system, good stem, the winds come along. I had them outside a while ago on the back of the golf cart to get some sun, and boy, they, they took a beating from that wind. Um, but the tomatoes can go from the 162 cell, the tomatoes can go straight in the ground if they're the right size and if it's the right temperature outside especially at night and uh, soil temperature too so here's everything those are the peppers that i just did some of them in solo some of them in the four inch pots I i'm trying to do a video on those lights i really like them i just bought these these two i just bought that one i had last year and um got adjustable adjustable doodads on them i, I like those um and got a good bright full spectrum light and anyway i'll try to do a video on the lights uh, i'll put a link below to those lights even before i do a video on how about that um heat mat i used in the house i did not bring it out here if it starts getting cooler if the nights start getting colder than what i like i may go ahead and bring that heat mat out and just put it under these trays and by the way i am watering from underneath I went ahead and put water in each individual tray, in each individual pot, but I'm also watering underneath. I'll do the same with this one here. That's got about a, uh, well, water nearly gone now. It's got about a quarter of inch of water, but I had about a half inch or more, probably about an inch and a half yesterday. So it's already sucked up quite a bit. And you can see it. You can see the soil the, getting a lot more moist than, uh, than it is coming about straight out of the sack. So, um... Whew, got a lot of stuff. It's not, you know, I've grown a whole lot more than this. This is going to be a, 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 a small garden for me, but I'm also going to be able to give away some plants and hopefully give away a lot of vegetables as well as put some in the freezer and eat a bunch of them. All right, that's it. We're gone.